Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and if not, I hope this makes your day a little bit better. I keep saying that all every time I start these videos, and you know what? I am 100% for sure that I love you guys enough to care about your wear beads and stuff. So anyways, this is Today I'm Harvesting You. Yeah. And we're going to jump on into this because you know how I do. I just jump into things that I have no idea what they're about. I download this game and I'm so afraid that because there's been a few times that I've read games on each that I owe, right? And I hope you guys don't mind me rambling just a little bit. So I do apologize. But um, there has been so many times that I've downloaded games on each that I owe where one, the game will uh, have the almost darn near the whole entire what the game is about in the, uh like they're about what the game is and two a uh, bunch of spoilers so i just i just run and if it looks cool i'll read like a little snippet of it and like okay i wanted to play it <laughs> so if the game turns out trash it's not my fault and if the game turns out good you know thank the creators sorry i have to hear my creaky old scary uh mic somebody said every time they hear that it makes them think that they're <laughs> Think about Halloween for some reason. That That is rude, okay? I put a little oil on it and it just still creaks. I don't know why. Money is tight. It's always been tight. My grandma is slouching over receipts. Wearing her glasses, magnifying glass in hand. She, who always talks about class and sitting upright. She berates me about how I'll never find a man who will love me because of my over-reliance on her. My grandpa washes and puts away the dishes. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice already. <laughs> I haven't even finished reading. For me while I stare into space, he, with his rough wrinkled hands, rough from detergent, fixing cars, dyeing his hair without gloves, wrinkled from worrying about me my happiness, my fulfillment. They do anything for me, their precious granddaughter. And I know that, but I don't want them to live in poverty. I don't want them to worry about whether or not I'll end up, excuse me, <clears throat> I'll ever be loved. <coughs> my goodness, I started choking. I want them to be happy. I want happiness that's all I've ever wanted in life I'm gonna I'm gonna do the creaky I'm so sorry if I move it slow yeah, that's what it sounds like I'm so sorry so that's why he's opening the door <laughs> and I'll do anything to get it what is anything hello hey back for more more of you yeah <laughs> Oh, we're flirting today. Okay. I could just feel that you missed me. So I've come back to visit you. Sure. How are you going? <laughs> Excuse me. How are you going about this today? <clears throat> God, I need water. Let me get some water. Y'all know I'm going to walk away. Y'all going to hear me talking and walking. So I got to go get water. Because otherwise I'm losing my, my voice and... Didn't take that long. See, it didn't take that long. Y'all was worried for nothing. Uh, and y'all not gotta get situated. And if you haven't drunk water today, take a sip with me. I'll give you guys a second. Seconds over. Grab your waters. And bottoms up. Ooh. <clears throat> that actually helped my throat a lot. <clears throat> How are you going about this today? Um, I think I'm gonna go on a date with those guys for from before excuse me i've said four before okay be careful out there kiddo oh are you worried about me <laughs> see you soon I'm trying to give him more mysterious voice like like in the shadows of the night type of voice i am harvesting you so the only thing i know about this game because um 
there was a young lady who was playing it and I adore her voice I adore watching people play and I own she read the beginning part of it but before she read the beginning part of it she explained that this game is basically about harvesting your dates you know taking their their parts don't demonetize me it's just a game <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but yeah they're just taking your parts away from you uh, Gideon yep that's me and how lucky I was to score a date with a girl like you <laughs> pretty lucky <laughs> maybe if you if you do well you'll leave my next date stranded in the cold I don't think it's a good idea to tell guys that you have another date lined up that's just doesn't sound right to me even if you do keep it to yourself I guess I shouldn't do too well then, huh? Oh, ow. Look at you and your big heart. That deserves at least two points. This is a 10 point scale. Excuse me, I was looking at my phone. How do I get nine points? Don't talk to me about the mic, okay? I don't care if it reminds you of Halloween. <laughs> I wanna score higher than the other guys you're gonna head out with. But I wanna score just below perfect score so they don't wait in the cold and you go see them. <laughs> this guy's giving me some weird vibes. Just to reaffirm that I'm the one for you. You giving me some weird vibes, Gideon. Um, introduce yourself, sell yourself to me. Hey, I'm Gideon, I'm six foot four. Is that all? Mm -hmm. I was about to say the same thing, girl. I say, is that all you got going for you? You know, I'm Gideon. I'm a doctor. I have an education. You kind of look like a hippie and not the good hippie, the bad hippie. Like, come on, sell yourself, sir. Is that your also oh value, most important trait after your name? No, but I gotta give the girls what they want, you know. What about you? What type of girl are you? I'm really not sure. I mean, I am the quirky slash goofy slash weirdo who is an introvert who desperately needs to be an extrovert. But, you know, this is what YouTube's helping me with because, you know, I'm meeting so many new people and I'm so excited. But, you know, that, that's just kind of who I am. A little bit chubby, too. Oh. Um... I think I'm the type that's dating because I crave a mundane, happy life. Mm, yeah. I want to celebrate holidays around a big <laughs> round table and f with family and friends. I see. He's giving me some off, like, I'm going to go with the wave type of guy. So, uh, I, I don't think he's right for me. I want to get married before my grandparents die so that they don't have to worry. Uh, yeah. I want happiness, a whole lake of it. Maybe I want to drink it all up instead of getting in. Hot. Hot? Yeah. How many points does that get me to? Is she saying five, I'm gonna say like you're still at two, but telling me that me sharing my dreams with you is hot? It kinda sounds like it's gonna be one of those you want to come back to my house and watch a movie type of thing and then you're gonna walk in there sit on his couch and then he's unzipped his pants before you can even sit down like that's what kind of vibes he's giving me and I don't like that like I, I like like if we're gonna go on a date get to know me first before you try to hop in my underwear that's it so what do you want from this date I think I just don't want to be lonely anymore why? I like to have a connection with someone. What do you mean? <clears throat> Moving my voice again, Jesus. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I feel lonely no matter who I'm with. Sorry to hear that. I'm a little, I'm, I, mm, mm. I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself until after the date. I don't wanna trust anyone or rely on anyone. It just feels 
Whenever I start to rely on someone, it just feels like they run away. I don't know. If everything is bound to fall apart, isn't it better to rely on yourself? If you don't want to get hurt, sure. Life is full of breakups and falling outs. But it's also full of new meetings and connections. See, he's calling it connections. He's not even saying relationships. He's one of those, you know, I don't like putting labels on what we are. And then, you know, he'll be with me for like a month. And then he'll borrow my car and stuff, sleep on my couch and stuff. But then he'll be like, yo, we didn't put labels on it. So I can go ahead and stick my willy in everything that walks. Like, ugh, nah, I, don't, I wouldn't be feeling him. We're all going to die anyways, somehow, someday. We're going to have a long uh, time alone, excuse me. We're going to have time alone. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't. That's life. I like talking to you. And maybe we're never talk again. That's life. Wow, so hot and sexy. See, she's giving him, she likes him, I don't like him. <laughs> Shut up. But Lucy, just kiss me already. At least he's, at least he's blushing. Haha. <laughs> Very funny. Um, oh. Harvest or date? Well, I feel like you scored a pretty high. Um... Wow, you're so funny and charming. It's supposed to be about harvesting, but they give me the option to date. Y'all know I'm gonna have to redo all this anyway. <clears throat> Definitely scored a perfect 10 in my book. Pfft. You're really cute, you know that? <laughs> yeah, it's why you're still here. Weirdo, I like weird girls. Um, Weirdo is correct, but if a dude called me weird, And then led with, I like weird girls. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask him why. Cause I am weird. I am very much so weird. And I've been called weird in years and years of me thinking like, oh, weird is bad, weird is bad. Now it's the cool thing on the block. It's just like, I'd be looking at people like, really? Really? Where was y'all at when I was in school? Everybody wanted to be normal and perfect. <clears throat> and I'm sitting over here wearing like I went to high school. This is this is just a short story. <clears throat> Sorry for the like the rambling and stuff, but I went to high school um wearing a pink and white striped shirt with pink and white striped pants, purple shoes, and I think my mom has a picture of it. I don't have the picture, so I would have to ask my mom so if I don't put a picture up of it. And uh pigtails, but the pigtails had like little like ribbons in the pigtails or whatever and I walked into the school and I got laughed at like hard like so hard and the ones that weren't laughing just put their head and didn't look at me so I have been weird all my life <laughs> yeah I can be sort of scary too <clears throat> what is there to be scared of I'm the one who doesn't want to be alone remember um, there's just more than that to be scared of, you know? Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, I'm gonna slice you up somewhere. Can't just go around being scared of getting hurt, can I? No, but you should. Hmm. I'm gonna go pee. Meet me in the back after you're done peeing. You got it, chief. Oh, what are we gonna do to him? I'm so excited. Hello. Whoa, so not cool, bro. It's not like we stabbed him. We did. Uh. Oh God, I can click on things. Um. All right, let's open him up. Ah! Perfect. What do we collector's request? Heart. Um. You need a certain tool. What, this? Oh God. Wait, do I put this back? Oh, there we go. I have to put, I can't pick up two tools. Um, keep it? Maybe if it, it'll be like a, like a, like a, like a, I don't know, a souvenir. Snatch, snatch, keep it. 
I think we only were getting the heart, right? Yeah, we're all done here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't, we just, we just killed the guy. Well, I mean, I wasn't getting good vibes from him anyway, so it's, it's fine, it's cool, it's okay. I didn't read it, I accidentally clicked the, I accidentally clicked on OBS and I moved it. Uh, got the heart. <laughs> Get it, because I got you a heart. Also, I'm flirting with you, wink wink. Give me the bag. You got it, boss. Here's your pay, kiddo. That's it? B Boo! You're no fun. Not here to be fun. Then what are you- are, are you here for me, sir? Cause I mean, hi. What? Are you here for me? Moving on. You know what they say, the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I cook. What? I cook really well. I can make spring rolls and seafood pancakes. <laughs> I don't think that's what you meant. Oh, that sounds good. Um, uh, oh, you're gonna fall in love with my cooking. Yeah. And me. Wink, wink. He just looks so annoyed with me. Bye. He just want me to go. He just wants me to get him out of his face. Jun? Uh, we dated a Jun before. He was a murderer, but it looks like the tables have turned. Uh, nice to meet you. This table is nice. Your face is nice. <laughs> wow, uh, okay, um. I was Googling date openers on the way here. They said to, um, uh, State the obvious. It's more fun that way. Jeez. You're really bold. You make such a good dungeon ma- uh, um. 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 A dungeon master? You want me to be your dungeon master? What? Do, do you play D&D? So- Funny thing is, I would like to play d and I just don't think it's for me. I don't think I have the patience for it. But I have jumped back into Magic the Gathering. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Y'all don't even know. Um, whisper. No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> whisper back. Yeah. Uh, is playing d and supposed to be a big, bad secret? No, it's just... I was told that the rules to dating was not to talk about d and by who? My friends. <gasps> Gasp! Including your dungeon master? Admittedly, yes. <laughs> well, you're in the dungeon right now. I make the rules. What's your character like? My character? What kind of guy do you want to be in a relationship? Oh, uh, ideally... I'd like to be a supportive boyfriend. Someone who's always there for you. Someone who is reliable enough to lift up a, lift a burden off your shoulders. Okay, that's like five points right there. Cause you know, some us women, we got, we got issues, okay? And we be having issues, so we, we need somebody to be there supportive for us. What kind of relationship does your character want? I'd want a relationship where we can do things together. Uh, cook together, eat together, uh, play D&D together. Do the ordinary things in life together. I like that. That's what I want in a relationship too. You're so cute. It doesn't make sense that you don't already have that. Romance isn't something that makes sense. Even if you, if, even if I have a high state of charisma, I can still roll a one. And then poof, nothing. I understand. So, I like that my character is trying to relate to him with something that he likes. Th take note, women. This is what you should be doing. Don't just sit here and be like, oh my god, the guy wasn't interested at all. He wasn't interested in anything 
he was only interested in everything about me. He wasn't even talking about himself, blah, 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 and stuff. It's it, just like he's trying to pull out a conversation out of you. You need to be pulling a conversation out of him too and trying to figure out what he likes and try to take interest and, in, you know, a liking to something, even if you don't like it. I hate sports, but if my uh, lover, relationship, boy or girl, whoever it is, whoever I'm in a relationship with, if they tell me, you know, I like to to play, uh, I'm trying to think of a game that I don't like playing. I hate the game with a passion. I can't really think of it because I don't really hate games. Um, I adore playing d and I think it's called d and Dead by Daylight, D- DBD. <laughs> I, I like playing Dead by Daylight and I would love for you to play with me. I would play the game with them. But I mean, you gotta, you gotta show interest in some of the things that they like too. So what's your character's backstory? I grew up poor. But I was in a huge, I was a huge nerd growing up and I landed a big programming job right out of university. Oh, so does that mean you can take care of me? See, now you lost me now. See, I love my character and I, now I hate her now. <laughs> I wouldn't be out on a date if I didn't think I, that I could take care of a girl that I'm dating. Whoa, I think you wrote a crit on coolness. <laughs> you think so? I know so. I would date this guy. I'm not even joking. I, June, you're like at a six now. Uh, what's your character's end goal? How does your character know when he's falling in love with someone? Oh, jeez. It feels like the world shifts when I fall for someone. They're on my mind 24-7. When I head out to drive, I think about putting their favorite song on. When I go to the grocery store, I think about their favorite food and drinks and if I could get anything for them. (gasps) (laughs) When I go about my day, I want to leave my phone off silent so I can be, so I can make sure that I pick up their call and answer any text they need me (laughs) when they need me. Oh my God, he's so cute. (laughs) Junior, you're, you're now at like, a eight now you're at an eight. Oh my god how do you know when you've fallen for someone i appreciate every little thing they do for me i can see them doing something dumb like falling over and still consider it charming i want to hang out with them and see them a lot so do you want to hang out with me again i really do but i'm gonna harvest your organs <laughs> I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm going to go to the ladies room. Meet me in the back of the cafe after you're done paying. Anything for you. Oh, this is so bad. I like June. Oh, is that you? Oh, God. Looks like I rolled a one for plot armor, huh? Mm, more like charisma. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Got Heart and stomach. Okay. Wow. Uh. Okay. Oh wait, I, I need this to take out this, right? And I'm gonna keep it because you were so sweet. I definitely keep yours. Uh, put it away, and then I use this to take this because this is his heart. Keep it. And his stomach. Uh, gotta grab this. Trash that. That is his intestines. <gasps> I trashed his lungs. I, I clicked. I swore I clicked on his his intestines. No, keep it. Keep it. That's what we want. <laughs> um, what is that? I don't even know what that is. All done. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, yes. Jesus, I tossed the man's freaking... Backed after your string bean bookworm. Yep, I'm here. So? Oh, first, I made a seafood pancake. Oh. This looks good. Thank you. Mmm, it's so good. Your toes are gonna fall for me. <laughs> she really trying to get at him. He's just like, whatever. Huh. 
Huh? Oh, I thought that was a joke. What? Uh, I'm so serious about that. All right, kiddo. So, how was your harvest? Uh, got you the stomach and the heart. Now, can you give me yours? I'd rather not die. Not in that way. Here's your payment. Boo, come on, play along. People who play along with you die. You know, I wouldn't kill you, come on. <laughs> he just looks so annoyed with me. Here's your payment. Ready for your next harvest? Yep. His name is Dante and he's a criminal, so. Oh, this should be easy then, be careful. If you care for me so much, you should just come with me. No thanks. Boo! See you. He's playing so hard to get. I like that. Ew. Hey, Miss Popular. Popular? Mm-hmm. I've been sitting around and waiting for my chance to be with you. Mm, I doubt that. Yeah? Why? Um... You don't look like the type that'll wait around for someone else. What makes you say that? Everything about you, just your whole demeanor, the way you're leaning and everything. Ouch. But I guess that means you're watching everything I'm doing, right? The way my hair parts, the way I talk. You see it all because you like me, huh? Too bad I don't like you. That'll change in time. Oh my God. I already don't like you. You already at a one already. <laughs> Boo, get out of here. You give me, ugh. You give me small pee pee vibes. Ugh, go away. Have you gotten away with saying things like this? <laughs> this thing, sorry, saying thing, this things like before. Oh my God, I can't read today. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> um. Look at me. Look at what I look like. No one's gonna care about what I say as long as I can, as long as they can look. Blech. No, thank you. Well, maybe not right now. I was gonna run away from some cops today and landed myself in a trash bin. And then I saw you on the other on another date. So you're you're stalking me. You're stalking. Oh, stalker. I was just in the area, scouting before our date. Aw, you wanted to meet me earlier, huh? Of course. Am I that interesting to you? Don't know. You seem a bit crazy. <laughs> me? Why? Who sets up multiple dates in a row? <laughs> I'm efficient, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Efficient. Insane, you mean? Yet, you still showed up, didn't you? I did. Never said I hated crazy. If you are a person that is above the age of 21 and older, y'all know what they say about the crazy girls. If you don't know what they say about the crazy girls, go look up what they say about the crazy girls. This is why he's here. Just remember that. Such a flirt. You love it. And I'd love to see what little things you like could do to me. Ugh. Want me to ruin your life? Was that not in the dating profile? Of course. So, thoughts on me? Uh, I don't know anything about you. Yeah, but you don't really need to, right? You're attracted to me. We can have fun with that. I can tell you, you tell you want to. Uh, and if I do, then let's have some fun, babe, tonight. No need to drag this out any longer. I'm gonna continue this night, can we? 
I'm, I'm gonna definitely harvest you. Pay for me and meet me in the back and find out, yeah? Of course. I got you. I'm gonna tear every little... I'm gonna take everything and keep it just because. Not gonna run away from you, girl. Ugh. Yeah. It's gonna feel good driving that knife in you. Yeah. Oh, shite. <sighs> Knew you were too good to be true. You should back up. I'll probably slice your head off. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this felt good. Liver and lungs, okay. All right. Uh, slice them open. Slice, slice, slice. Uh, perfect. Put it back. Uh, take this and slam, slam, slam. I'm keeping it. This is a special trophy. Douchebag of the day. <laughs> uh, put it down and let's start taking the lungs. There's something else in the way. Oh, the heart is in the way? Ah, okay. Uh, trash it. Your heart's trash. I was going to keep everything, but I just want to keep the lungs in the liver. Keep it. They should really label this, okay? What if you didn't know what, what what's what? Huh? All done. Are you sure? Yes, get me out of here. Leave everything just as is. You look so smitten with that boy. Must have been an act of <laughs> accident you killed him. <sighs> what if I'm just like him? Excuse me. <coughs> Had to sneeze. What if I like him so much that I needed him to be mine? <laughs> just make sure you keep bringing, <laughs> bringing me these. I'll pay you for what I ask. You got it, boss. I'm gonna ditch the best. I'm not gonna ditch. Excuse me, the best prices in town. I'm so, I'm messing up because I'm looking at my phone. My phone's vibrating. Good job, kiddo. You did well. You got all three, didn't you? Yep, sure did. <sighs> he's creeping me out. I feel like he's gonna kill me after this. Were you even interested in dating? Yeah, they just didn't catch my eye. Nobody seemed to catch your eye. That's not true. You did. Of course you did. Do I get a bonus for getting all of them? Hmm? Come here. Huh? Did we just... What did they do to me? <gasps> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Well, that was nice. I am going to go back in and try to get some other endings. Be back in a flash. Okay, so we're back with Gideon. And Gideon, I'm going to date him. Well, I feel like your score is pretty high, like a 9. Damn, alright. And you still want to see another man? Hot. Yeah, he's giving me that um, I go with the flow vibes. I'm not going to put labels on stuff. I'm kind of musty, kind of vibes I'm good when will I see you again when I call you can I kiss you before I go I don't know can you and we got a kiss kitty and dabs you up after your kiss yeah he's a douche <laughs> he's a douche that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if he says something different now that we dated. How was your harvest? Um, I got a heart, but it's not yours. It's mine. I can't take it. I, just can't, uh, I take it your date went nice. I can't read today. I'm so sorry. Girl. Yeah, that's good. No pay. But I'm happy for you. Thank you. Okay, so this is all the same, right? I cook. Yeah, okay, so see you on the next date. Okay, here we are again with June, and this one I'm kind of excited about. I do. Want to learn how to bake a pie next time I see next time we see each other? Excuse me. I'd love that. Um, 
What kind of pie did you want to make? That's very important. You better pick a good one. I was thinking of banana cream pie. Oh, I love banana cream pie. Oh, you, I'm in love. You're 10. Sounds yummy. Well, we'll go eat before though. I'll treat you to dessert to go. Aww. I don't want you to have an empty stomach if I mess up. I mean, if we mess up. You're not on your own, dummy. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Definitely not. Did we get a kiss from you too? Uh, what? <gasps> we did! We got a kiss from him! Oh my god. You... That was... June does a mini fist pump. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, at least he, he's happy about the kiss. Ugh, let me situate myself. Back after your string being... Okay, so we already did this. Yep. So? Oh, first, I made you seafood pancake. Oh. This looks good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Your toast is going to fall for me. Don't you already have a boy on your roster? Yeah, but I have, you know, so many hands. No thanks. So, how was your harvest? I'm gonna go feed him to... <laughs> I'm gonna go feed him on our next date. <laughs> he doesn't care about that. Give him the organs, ma'am. Nice. Actually getting his heart through his stomach, hmm? Ready for your next harvest? Yep, he's a criminal. All right, see you on the, the worst date of them all. Okay, here we are, worst date of them all. So desperate, you want me that bad. Of course I do. Have you spoken to yourself? Actually, have you seen yourself? Freaking hot. Ugh. How are you already so obsessed with me? Does it matter? Just be with me so I can talk to you and tease you and kiss you and kiss me. Ugh. Sure, whatever. Mwah. Okay, go away. Go away. That was too long. Two seconds too long. Don't put your mouth on me. F yes. He grabbed your wrist and pulled you in closer. Ow! Ugh! Don't touch me! Ugh! Just think of my no-no square being my whole entire body. Don't touch me. Ew. Ugh. I would have rubbed it off right in front of him, too, when he kissed my forehead. Said he kisses my forehead. He looks so smitten with that boy. Gonna take Playboy home to your grams? I like Playboy. Can't we keep him alive, please? I'll just harvest him if anything happens. Only because you're my favorite. Yes, thank you. I think that's all for today. Gonna go meet up with your boy? Or boys? I have no idea who you are dating now. Yep, I'm off. Have fun. Same time next week? Yes, sir. Don't call me that. See you. Okay, so what's happening with this one? You see Dante later that night and he's ragged in his ragged apartment. <laughs> yeah, of course Dante would have a disgusting apartment. You guys play games together, fight, play fight throughout the night. He air fries you some chicken nuggets for dinner and kisses your forehead often. If we were fully dating, that would be sweet. We're not fully dating. You cannot give me chicken nuggets. <laughs> Your grandparents both love him very much, even though they think that you can do better financially. You see June the next day and he gives you an option of a fancy restaurant and cuddling on the couch with some takeout before making a banana cream pie. You choose the comfy day in. Time passes and June meets your grandparents. Your grandparents call him ugly. G Granny! Papa! 
don't do him like that. He's the cutest one. Behind his back and says that he doesn't look good enough to date you, but love his personality. All right. You see Gideon a couple of days later and he takes you out to a sports bra. You never hear from him again after that. Wow. <laughs> I knew I was right not to trust Gideon. So the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see real quick, just real quick, it, what happens if I date one of them and then just kill the rest. So to the salon. So here we are um, at the end. He says, going to go meet up with that boy or boys. I have no idea who you are dating now. Yep, I'm off. Have fun. Same time next week. Yes, sir. Okay. Don't call me that. So nothing changed here. Looks like we're all the same. You see Gina next? Okay, so he takes you to a fancy restaurant, cuddling, cream pie, and uh, grandpa grandparents think he's ugly. Got it. That's the end. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. I went through a lot to get to that. So I love each and every one of you guys. I hope you have fun watching me and laughing at me. And give me some other, some more ideas for some games and stuff. I appreciate it when you guys do that. I love each and every one of you guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace and love. Have a fantastic day.